wanted to give you guys a brief update of our general store so far. Uh, we painted the whole thing brown and then we started to put up some uh, pieces and uh, we got the trim on and I was looking at it and then I was like, you know what, we need to get some more of those uh, wood pieces on there. So that's what we're doing right here. So uh, we also have the deck coming together. I picked out all the boards and a couple of them are too long as you can tell. So I'm going to cut those down and uh, we'll nail those and that'll be done. And um, then all I have to do is just paint. Um, I'm still deciding on what color to dry brush, but um, yeah, it's going really fast, which is good. So we're just banging these these last facades out, and uh, a lot more painting to do. I'll have to uh, age the deck again, and we'll make some props for this. We also have uh, these props, which I need to uh, work on. So uh, with this one, I have to take uh, the green off and uh, rust it. And there's a little bit down there. This we're just gonna use the handles for because I don't think that they had some hedge trimmers like that. And uh, with this one, I just had to take the plastic off and some sticker that they have on there. And then this one is actually perfect and ready to go. So uh, we'll tack those to the side of the the building when we're ready we'll make some crates and hopefully we'll find a a whiskey barrel or a wine barrel to go up there and uh, we got some saddle parts and a lot of horseshoes and all kinds of goodies so Christopher and I stayed up last night and had a heart-to-heart -heart and a deep discussion about this year's haunt and I was really telling him I really like the old Western thing but I'm really bummed that we kind of got rid of all of our stuff and I kind of wanted to go back um, to do what we did last year and maybe recreate what we did and Chris said yeah and I actually have a few walls so he pulled this out for us and I'm so excited <sighs> I'm reminiscing but um yeah so we're going to I guess we're going to keep our signs and stuff for next year and the tooth and the barber pole and all that kind of stuff, but, um, nah, I'm just joking with you guys. You're like, whatever, Gina. I'm like, How long is this going to go? Yeah, I'm like, wow, that's a long joke. <laughs> this setup is killing me. <laughs> this was one of the maze walls that we had and uh, we uh, cobwebbed it up. It has a, a little bit of organic. Uh, brush There's probably some now. real cobwebs yeah. in there too. So, um, so, um, the back we painted, it was all like blue and then we put like a dark gray on it and then a light gray and then we like speckled it and like rolled it and did all kinds of stuff for the texture and it's so funny because you can't even tell. Like in, if you watch some of our maze videos or our 2012 haunt video, when you're going down the hallway you can't even see all of this because it's so dark. But Whatever, it was something we did in case, you know, the lights were on or whatever, but long story short, even though it's too late, um, <laughs> we're going to take this stuff off, we're going to paint it brown to match this side, and we're going to put some slats on it, mm -hmm. and the reason why we're doing this is because this is going to be um, one of the front pieces, and our general store is kind of smaller scale, but we did it because on both sides we can put barrels and crates and boxes and all this other kind of stuff, because you'll notice that this one is a little bit smaller than some of the other facades that we've done, but we did it that way on purpose to save space, plus we thought we could bring some of the props and stuff around the whole um, element of the general store. And um, other things, as hi Tonka, um, we got this done, so that's already been aged. And if you come over here, we're going to board up this one. So uh, Chris already um, came and uh, aged all of those. So after I'm done painting the building, we'll just attach those on there, and it'll be another element. So. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and paint all of the fresh cuts brown and then I'm going to dry brush and paint the whole building and whew, that's a mouthful you guys are probably like dang <laughs> <So>. <laughs> 
The general store is going to be on the farthest corner of our property line. So we wanted to, most of the facades that we're making, uh, many of you are probably wondering like how it's going to all look and pan out. Um, several of them are going to be enclosed like little buildings. To do this we're going to use a lot of our walls uh, from our maze. Some of the walls have, uh, they're only skinned on one side and we did that so that we could basically stretch the material. And how we have these connected is with a, uh, a whaler or a brace that, that I made out of uh, two one by threes and just screwed the, the them together. Gina stood on the outside and made sure that the edges and stuff were flush. So for those of you that aren't familiar with coffin locks, they're really nice for um, wall panels. You just have to drill a hole for your Allen screw and you have to route out much like you would like a door hinge on a door. But uh, once you put the two walls together, you don't have access to either side for screwing them together. So this is a nice substitute. And basically, one side comes down and hooks into the other side and locks it in place. So let's see if we can do it real quick with this wall. How appropriate. They're called coffin locks. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they don't want anybody getting out of the coffins, mm. huh? Once you're in, you're in. Yeah. All right, so normally this is easier with uh, two people, but... I'm filming. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you get these walls for the most part lined up as best as you can. And we'll do the top first. And that's just a little Allen wrench, huh? Yeah. You gotta find the... Locks it into place. Now we do the bottom. Give it a couple good kicks. And then you got one right here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to uh, beat up your facades. Now on this side. Make them look aged. Since I don't have a corner piece made, you could make like a little 90 degree piece that actually locks into each side. But for now, I'm just using the, uh, the corner braces and I'll just screw them in. So, I'll need Gina's help for that. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Neato.